Hey, this is Pete from NicheSpin.com. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, we're going to go through some of the new stand app publication services that you'll find on the internet. And what I'm doing this for is because I'm going to create a series of posts where I document how I can create new stand applications, you know, um, publishing magazines on the iPad uh, for a fraction of the price of what you'll find on some of these other other sites out there on the internet. Um, now I'm not saying these sites are a con or anything like that, you know, they're just expensive for anybody trying to bootstrap or, you know, very limited budget. Some of these services, they're just too expensive, it's just too hard to get going. And a new stand app actually requires a back-end web service as well as a front-end iOS app. So it's actually quite difficult for somebody new to the industry to get in there, produce an app. Um, there is a digital magazine offer subscriptions and so on um, just because it's so expensive and it's difficult to do on your own so let's have a look at what's on offer uh, first of all we have tap edition that's tapedition.com uh, nice fancy graphics on the start and if we have a look at the features all the websites that offer this type of service building new stand apps offer very similar products so here you can see Tap Edition offer you the facility to create Apple News stand apps and Web HTML5 uh, versions of the magazine. Now, I'm not 100%, but I have dug around a little bit. I think the HTML5 version that you get, it's actually generated because when you build your Apple News stand app, it uses HTML5 to deliver the individual pages and all the interactive elements such as video, audio and things like that. So if they're already using HTML5 for the new stand app, they're going to give you the uh, facility to take the HTML5 content away and actually create it as a website. So it makes sense, but as a service on its own, I think it's a bit of a con. <laughs> well, not a con. It's just that you know, you're building it anyway. So uh, anyway, let, let's have a look. We got the features, we'll scroll down. Here we go. So they're telling you that you can embed video and audio into your magazines, photo galleries, RSS, text boxes, pop-up overlays, and so pretty much like any type of website. Page flipping, zoom in. You can preview your publication in their own um, sort of preview app before you publish it. You can build in-app purchases inside your magazine as well. So you can charge for individual issues and also you can have renewable subscriptions. One of the things with a new stand app is you have to provide the facility for a user to subscribe to your publication. So this has to be built in anyway. Um, I think the minimum requirement is that you've got to have a free subscription. When you do introduce paid subscriptions, it takes a little bit more work and you have to set up in-app purchases and renewable, uh, what do they call it, non-consumable products and things like that. Anyway, so that's their features. But what we're really interested in is having a look at the pricing. Now, if you want to produce a monthly magazine, what we're seeing here is over the course of a year, it's going to cost you $3,000. So you get to publish 12 issues of your magazine and you get the basic newsstand functionality of doing in-app purchases, push notifications and subscriptions. If you want to do a quarterly magazine, it's $1,000 and a weekly, $5,000. Um, nothing much more to say about Top Edition. That's, that's about it. That's their offering. I'm really more concerned about the price so we can compare the different products out there. Next, let's jump over to Adobe. Now, Adobe is like the uh, the daddy of the digital publishing world because uh, their products are really good, really neat. Um, you know, they they have InDesign for designing your magazine, and they integrate it with their dig digital publishing suite. So you get a lot of great tools, but it comes at a price. If we have a look here, this is their pricing page, which I have to say is a bit difficult to find sometimes. But you can see you got a single edition and I think what it tells you here is that the software is bundled in what do they call it single is part of their Adobe Creative Cloud product suite um, but basically you're gonna pay $395 
I think that's for the year to use their software that's just to use it first off then if we come down to the professional edition you get to see behind the scenes that you're going to be charged more money for this because to publish a magazine you're going to be charged um, let's see this is professional they're doing a monthly fee for 495 five nine four zero dollars for the year hit this is the bit I want to point out so for the first 10,000 downloads of a magazine issue which they're calling a folio file uh, it's gonna cost you 30 cents per download so they tie you in to this for me quite expensive um, download cost you're gonna pay 30 pence you're giving Adobe 30 cents for every download of your magazine once you go over 10,000, I think maybe it reduces. Uh, but just think about that. If you do have 10,000 downloads of your magazine, you're going to have to give Adobe uh, $3,000. Now, I think I've got that right. I think I've understood it. But you can see it becomes quite expensive for somebody trying to publish the magazine on their own. Um, so let's jump across to Mag Plus. Now, I will say there are lots of providers out there. I've just picked these three because they, they cover a range from... I won't say low end, but you know the the Mag Plus to the Tap Edition to Adobe at the top end of the pricing scale. Now Mag Plus, they allow you to publish on Android as well, and you can see here on their what is Mag Plus page. You create your magazine, you preview it, you finish it, it gets published and pushed out to all your users. And you can see we have the App Store. And then we have Google Play and the Amazon Marketplace. But again, what are we interested in? It's that price. So here we can see if you just want to publish one issue of a magazine, it's going to sting you for $999. That's pretty expensive, isn't it? Um, for a monthly cost of $399, so you're paying, what, just short of $4,800 for the year, you can do unlimited publications of one, sorry, unlimited issues of one publication, which is one app, basically. If you want to do unlimited apps, unlimited issues, so all you can eat, $3,000 a month. Um, now, big companies out there that are using this, they probably love it, and $3,000 a month, they can probably eat that up it just doesn't even touch the sides um, but for again someone starting out that's very costly so uh, I'm not gonna go much further um, basically what I'm gonna do moving forward is create a series of articles and videos um, showing you how I go about creating a magazine uh, using some really good tools that look really professional the actual end product but it's a little bit more work on your part but at the end of the day you'll be able to publish an iPad app at a fraction of the cost that you see here on some of these well-known websites. Now we'll say if you've read the article that this uh, video is embedded in I haven't actually got a finished solution this is going to be a working process so what you're going to see is me trying to work it all out from start to finish. I have got a platform I'm going to use so it's not all my own software um, but the platform is super cheap compared to these. I'm not going to say what it is just yet, um, because if it doesn't work, then <laughs> you might go try it yourself without uh, really achieving much. But I'm going to use it, see if I can build a magazine using this system, document it, and then hopefully you'll be able to follow suit. So follow along with me, if you will. Subscribe to the website. Fill your name in the... Um, email capture form and that way every time a new article comes out along this topic I'll fire you an email so you can uh, you can consume the new sort of step-by-step -step tutorials as I produce them thanks very much bye bye